someone who truly challenges the uh, the very idea of unconventionality would have to be Vivian Westwood. The instant appeal of Vivian Westwood to me was the fact that you could take something that's incredibly high end and really start to punch holes through it. You know, I remember she had a mothball season where she got, you know, a 450-pound jumper, and then it was eaten away by moth, and that, you know, that was something that you could buy. And for me, kind of having this perfectly flawed element uh, in your reality is something that really kind of gives, keeps you grounded and gives it some really great perspective. The unconventional inspiration for my Jibon cocktail is to put gin in a whole new category of fun. As we know, gin has been at the forefront of all those classic beautiful drinks that we've enjoyed, the bone dry martini, the white lady, and of course a whole range of different types of sour. But using all the core ingredients of Givine, all those beautiful spices and citruses, we're gonna pop it into a whole new category of fun, punk, and tropical drinks. So we'll start by putting in all our fresh flavors first. So 30 mils of fresh coconut water, 50 mils of fresh lime juice, extracted with whatever you have laying around. 15 mils of sugar syrup, and then we're just going to throw in to accentuate those spices a uh, little knob of ginger, about the size of your thumb, and just throw that in because the shake's going to break it up. Now as we have that beautiful vine flower flavour in G-Vine, uh, I wanted to give a, a supporting role with some locally sourced kaffir lime leaves which are really going to help that lime jump forward as well. And all that remains of course is our G-Vine, the headliner, the star of the show, the lead singer in our punk band. We need 60 mils of gin in this drink because we really want all those tropical notes and those cracking citrus flavors and the vine flowers to really sink through all those locally sourced tropical flavors. And our own conventionality continues by serving our shivai in the coconut, of course, in a coconut. A couple of straws and a nice big leaf of cafe lime popping out of the top. Shivai in the coconut.